Oh man, I can't believe I'm finally doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CoinQuest Dollars. You've seen me hunt through boxes of pennies, boxes of nickels, and boxes of quarters to fill my collection albums. And today we're embarking on a brand new journey, hunting through $1,000 boxes of dollar coins to fill in a ton of collection albums. And when I say a ton, I mean a ton. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so first up, we got our Susan B. Anthony album. 1979 through 1981, and then it goes to 1999 for one year. Then we get our Sacagawea dollars, 2000 to the present year. You can see this is a very thick album, lots of coins to fill in. Then we got Presidential Dollars Volume 1, 2007 to 2011, and these are actually pretty cool. They actually have pictures of all of the presidents on it, so pretty cool there. Then we have Volume 2, 2012 to 2016. I don't know what happened to the pictures. And then finally, this may be the coolest album. I didn't even know these existed. 2018 to 2024, innovation dollars. And that's not even counting the Eisenhower large dollars, which obviously aren't gonna fit into the roles that we're looking at today. But who knows, we might be able to pick some of these up as well and try to fill this one in too. In case you've never seen a thousand dollar box of dollar coins, which I'm guessing most people haven't, this is what it looks like. Go ahead and open it on up and take a look, whoosh. So look at that. We've already taken a look at some of the Enders, some really cool stuff already coming out. Kentucky Bluegrass Ender, that's what I was talking about earlier, those innovation dollars, which I'm sure most people have never seen before. That's one right there and it's right on the end. I'm very excited to look at that. There's also some really cool stuff like this Harry Truman presidential dollar, which really isn't supposed to be in circulation. There is a ridiculous amount of stuff to look for in dollar coins, so much in fact that I had to create my own cheat sheet just to help me through this one. So before we break into any rolls from this thousand dollar box of dollar coins, I'm gonna read off this cheat sheet, some of the things that we're gonna be looking for. Starting with the Susan B. Anthony's, we're gonna be looking for the 1979 P wide rim. That's much rarer than the regular narrow rim and I have a graphic there to show you what that's gonna look like. In addition to that, we'll be looking for proof coins in 1979 and 1980. Those are going to have S mint marks and a nice shiny glossy look to them. And then any 1981 or 1999 coins that we find are not supposed to be in circulation. So we're going to keep them all. Moving on to the Sacagawea dollars. We are of course going to be looking for that super rare 2000 P Cheerios dollar. Only 60 to 70 are currently known to exist. So that's gonna be a really tough pull, but I do have a graphic up there to show what it looks like just in case we are feeling lucky and we wanna go for that. In addition to that, all S mints are gonna be proof, so we'll keep all of those, and 2002 and later are not intended for circulation, so keep all of those as well. Moving on to presidential dollars, you're gonna to wanna to look at the rim of these coins. If you see a presidential dollar that doesn't have lettering around the rim, that is going to be a very rare air. You're gonna to wanna to hold on to that for sure. On top of that, once again, all S mint coins are proof, so you wanna hold on to those, and anything past 2012 and later is going to be not intended for circulation, so definitely hold on to those as well. Now for the Native American coins, which are sort of like an extension of the Sacagawea series, which started in 2000. That's gonna start in 2009 and goes up to the present date. Now on these, you're gonna notice that mintage figures significantly drop off in 2012, so 2012 and later is definitely gonna be a keeper. Then once once again, all S mints are proof, so definitely keep anything with an S mint mark. And then there's something really cool in these dollars in particular. In 2015, they actually minted one of these Native American dollars at the West Point branch. Only 90,000 of them were made. I would love to find one of those, so we'll definitely be keeping an eye out for that. And then finally, we have the American Innovation dollars, which started in 2018. These are the latest dollar coins to come out of the United States mint, and they are super cool. Not only are the designs super awesome, but every single coin that's come out of the mint so far in this series has a mintage below 1 million minted. So you remember that ender there? Yeah, that's an under million coin right there. It's crazy. You never find stuff like this in like the nickels or pennies. So obviously literally any coin that we find in that American innovation series is going to be a keeper for sure. And then on top of that proof SMIC coins come in even lower under 100,000 per coin. So Again, just major keepers right there. You find one, you're keeping it. That being said, they're not supposed to technically be in circulation, so they're gonna be very tricky to get. So there you have it. That's a basic rundown of what we're gonna be looking for in these dollar coin rolls. Obviously gonna be trying to fill out all of the coins in the collections that I showed you earlier in the video. And as we go, we'll try to upgrade those if we find better versions. And as we go through the coins, if we get duplicates that are better than the ones in the collection, we'll try to upgrade as we go. Just to give you a quick idea on how the box is configured, we do have a thousand dollars face value here in dollar coins $25 per roll and it's gonna be five by eight so 40 rolls times $25 comes out to a thousand I don't know why these ones in particular are just completely inside out uh, you can see it sort of says 25 on the inside but uh, every single roll in this particular box for whatever reason is turned inside out that's just how I got it and uh, you know what's funny though this one looks way higher than the rest like 
I feel like this one may have an extra dollar coin in it, which if it does, I'm not complaining. But as you guys can see, we get a nice assortment of the Susan B. Anthony's presidential dollar coin, Sacagaweas, all of it's in here, even innovation dollars, which just blows my mind. So very excited to get into this stuff and see what we can find and see how we're able to fill out those collections. Of course, we do have a lot of collections to fill out in this series. I'm gonna have a ton of fun with this one and hopefully you guys will as well. As for this first episode, I'm not gonna be doing the entire 40 rolls. I think I'm just gonna start with one bottom row of eight rolls and see how that goes. So that's gonna be $200 worth right there of dollar coins. And we'll see how many of those we can fill into the collection. All right, guys, we got our eight rolls picked out. We got our cheat sheet. We got our collections. Everything seems to be in order. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Coin Quest Dollars. All right, guys, here we go. Breaking into our first roll of the Coin Quest Dollars series. This one is going to start us off with two presidential dollars on each end. That one's pretty nice looking right there. So definitely going to put that one in the collection. And here's what I was talking about with those rolls being inside out. That's what should be on the outside, right? It says $25 and sort of like a light gray color to it. You know, whatever. We'll go for it. So let's take a look here, guys, and see what we're going to see. So uh, again, looking at those dollar coins, the edges, you can see a lot of the lettering and uh, information, including the date on a lot of these newer coins is actually going to be on the edge. You're looking for some dollar coins, some presidential dollar coins, that is, that don't have that edge lettering. Now you might be thinking to yourself, oh, isn't that one right there? Well, probably not. That's probably just gonna be a Sacagawea dollar, which does not have any of that edge lettering. At least the early ones don't. So that's a 2000P. Of course, we probably should check all of these for that Cheerios dollar that I mentioned earlier. This is the difference right here you can see in uh, the tail feather. But again, there's only 60 to 70 of those in existence as far as anybody knows. So we're probably not going to get that, but we can check for it anyway. Why the heck not? All right, so uh, definitely not gonna be it there. But uh, yeah, that is an interesting story which probably deserves its own video. But you can see right here, guys, you can also tell the difference between like the Susan B. Anthony's which are gonna have that clad edge versus the gold looking edge. Now, I am actually seeing a 2011 right here. This is the really weird thing about dollar coins, which I didn't really consider before. You see the, the years on the edges. So it, it sometimes will not be um, very dramatic, I guess you could say, to like pull one out and find the year on it. But uh, remember, 2012 and later is not intended for circulation. So this one is intended for circulation. Let's just go ahead and jump uh, dump the roll out here and see what's going to pop out for us. So... There is that really nice shiny ender right there, and that one is going to be Andrew Johnson, which we actually have right here. We just pulled another one of those. Uh, we will want to check those for the Philadelphia and Denver Mint Mark, though. There's both of those that we still need to find for our collections. And one other thing that I forgot to mention about our collections, I did actually include proofs in these collections. So we are going to be looking out for proofs and filling them into the collections, not just putting them in like their own roll uh, away from everything else. So there we go. Get another presidential dollar right there, James Madison. Um, and I'm going to have to learn, you know, kind of where these uh, presidential dollars fit into uh, the different years. Like, for example, um, you know, any earlier president's going to be towards 2007. Anything later is going to be towards 2016. There is James Monroe right there. So we will be putting that one into the collection as well. Another 2000P, which we can check for that Cheerios dollar. So I'll put that to the side to check in a little bit. James Buchanan. So yeah, just all of the presidents. There's another 2000P. The thing about these though, even though uh, you know there is that Cheerios dollar to look for, they're extremely common. 2000P Sacagaweas, you see them all the time. That Cheerios dollar on the other hand is extremely, extremely rare. So you're gonna spend a lot of time looking for Cheerios dollars if that is something that you're interested in doing. All right, here we go. We got some 1979 uh, Susan B. Anthony's. Now these come out quite a bit. Susan B. Anthony's from 1979 in particular. The 1980s and 81, those are a little bit more difficult to find. So we'll definitely be on the lookout for those. And there we go, guys. In our first roll, I believe we actually have a not intended for circulation presidential dollar right there. Warren G. Harding is definitely going to be 2012 or later. Yeah, look at that. 2014, it looks like is the year on that one. So there we go, guys, right off the bat, we are already striking a not intended for circulation coin. So that is amazing right there, guys. I am very happy to see that because that means that there's probably gonna be quite a few more in here. And uh, that is definitely exciting to be filling stuff like this into the collection. Uh, now, did I, was there a mint mark on that that I missed? I did see the 2014. It looks like it's going to be a 
P. Yeah, you see the P right there. So not a proof coin, but still very cool to get a not intended for circulation coin out of the very first roll. All right, now here we go, guys. We have a Sacagawea here that appears to have no date. That means it's going to be one of the newer ones. So let's take a look at it close up here. So no date there, but it does have that edge lettering once again. And we're going to find the year here in just a second. Wouldn't it be awesome if it was a 2015 P or 2015 uh, W, I mean. All right, there it is, guys. 2011 is the year on that one. So it's going to be one of those Native American dollars. So a really nice array of interesting and different designs here coming out already in the very first roll. Wamp it's the Wampanoag Treaty of 1621, 2011. That's going to be the first one going into uh, that second section of our Sacagawea dollar book. So very, very cool, guys. Right off the bat, the first roll, we're already getting some not intended for circulation stuff and some really cool Native American dollars. And I think that's just about going to do it for uh, that roll. We got James Monroe and Millard Fillmore. I don't think Millard Fillmore is going to be... Uh, not intended for circulation, but let me just double check real quick. Uh, 20, yeah, 2010 is the year on that one. So that is a more common regular presidential dollar. Guys, lots of good stuff already. I'm going to go ahead and fill some of this into the collection and get back to you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, here's a breakdown of the first roll. We got our 79P and 79D Susan B. Anthony dollars. So very first roll, we're getting those into the collection and then a whole bunch of extra 79Ps right there. Uh, we got a really nice 2000p Sacagawea right there, and then a whole bunch more 2000p Sacagaweas in not as good condition. I did check them all for the Cheerios dollar, and we do not have it. Um, but uh, so, yeah, we got a bunch of extras right there, right off the bat. So maybe this is going to be a little more hard than I originally thought. Uh, we do have a lot of presidential dollars, which I believe are all going into the collection. We did have one additional Andrew Johnson that is a duplicate in the same role that it came out of. So getting duplicates on that already. Of course, we did have a really cool Warren G. Harding and then a Wampanoag uh, Treaty right there, which are both going into the collection. So let me put those in real quick and I'll get back to you in just a sec. Well, would you look at that? Just opened up my Susan B. Anthony collection and immediately noticed that they differentiate between the far date and near date or wide rim and narrow rim. Luckily, we know exactly what to look for on that. And we have a microscope that we can use to look at it. So let's go ahead and throw these 1979 P's down under the microscope and see if we can grab ourselves a wide rim. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and check our 1979 P's to see if we got that wide rim or not. That is a very good example right there of a narrow rim in really good shape. It has a lot of space between the date and the bottom of the coin. So this one will definitely go in for our narrow rim example because that's a really nice looking coin. Now let's take a look at the other three 79s that we have and see if we can grab ourselves a wide rim as well. That one does not have it. Uh, that one does not have it. And let's see if this one does. No, it doesn't look like it. So we don't have it yet. And uh, I know that they are a little bit difficult to find. So we'll keep our eye out and hopefully we can get one. All right, guys, there we go. 79P far date in and 79D close behind. Our first coins into dollar coin sets for our dollar coin coin quest series. How cool is that? Now for our Sacagawea collection. I think this is actually really interesting here. You can see they don't even acknowledge the 2000p Cheerios dollar. They do, however, acknowledge the regular 2000p, which we have a really nice example of right here. So go ahead and sneak that coin in there. And that is our first one into that, that collection. You can see we have a, quite a few more to get, even just in these initial Sacagawea dollar coins, which go up from 2000 to 2002. And then there are just a ton more to find, including that 2011 that we found a little bit earlier. So let's Go ahead and flip over to that page. 2011 right here. I didn't actually catch the mint mark on that one, so let's take another look. Yeah, 2011D it looks like, so we'll be putting that one in right here. Let's go ahead and slide that bad boy out and drop it in. Now, I don't know which way to put this. I feel like we should put it this way up so we you know, see the design that uh, is actually there. So there we go, 2011D into the collection. On to the next. All right, guys, finally finished putting those presidential dollars into the collection. I'll spare you the details, but uh, basically we got a couple on this page, a couple on this page, not a whole lot else. I guess they do get a little bit harder to find as you go further and further out. And uh, yeah, just a few on every page, you know, so we're working on it. We're getting our way up. Basically, I'm pretty sure once we finish this entire box, everything in here except for the S Mint coins is probably going to be done, but uh, it does take work to get there. So that's what collecting is all about. We want to fill these holes and see what we can get. And then the Warren G. Harding coins actually going to go into this collection, which basically exclusively holds not intended for circulation coins. So it's going to be up here 
on this page, 2014 P right there. Let's slide this out and then grab our coin and drop it into place. This is a really nice looking one right here. So definitely happy to have that one as the first one into this collection and uh, hopefully many more to come. Now guys, to my surprise, we have a lot of duplicates in just that first roll. I mean, you can see Susan B. Anthony's, a whole bunch of Sacagaweas. Those mainly 79s and 2000 Ps is what this is made up of, but even the presidential dollar coins had duplicates. So this may be a little bit more tricky than I thought. All right, let's go ahead and get into roll number two and see what awaits us there. All right, here we go, guys, breaking into roll number two now. Let's see if we can grab ourselves an innovation dollar to get that collection started. And uh, okay, is that a quarter? All right, let's count real quick to see if we actually have $25 coins in here. So here we go. That's a really shiny one. We got five, 10, 15, 18 and a quarter that is definitely a quarter so we got 18 20 and oh 25 so perfect we actually got 25 dollars and 25 cents on this roll how crazy is that well i can't be mad at that at least we didn't get shorted 75 cents like i thought we were gonna get we actually gained 25 cents so i'll take it for sure now let's see what we got for our dollar coins guys i'm mainly focusing in on the shiny ones because those are going to be the ones that may be a little bit newer, like that one's a John Quincy Adams, so not exactly newer. That one's a super corroded uh, President Washington. There's Martin Van Buren. We haven't seen that one yet. And oh, what do we have here? Nice. Guys, this is shaping up to be a great box already. Granted, I don't know how common this stuff is. Maybe it's it's out there just and you just got to go find it. But yeah, there you go, guys. Dwight D. Eisenhower. That's definitely going to be a later one right there. Not in the best of shape, I'll admit that, but definitely an awesome one to see another not intended for circulation coin going into volume two of our collection. All right, let's take another look here to see what else we got. There we go, we got Abe Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson, two more names that we have not seen come out yet. Let's see what we got on this one. John Adams, pretty common there. Andrew Johnson, we had plenty of. And uh, yeah, all presidential dollars there, basically. Now we got some different stuff here, another 79 Philly, so that we can check out for that uh, wide rim. And then what do we have here? We got a George Washington, another common one. Abe Lincoln, also gonna be pretty common. A couple of 79s, so we'll check those as well. I think what I'm gonna do with those is just put them in a big pile and then check them all at the end to see if we end up with a wide rim or not. There is another 79. And then we have a 2000. Oh, there's our first 2000 Denver. So we do need this one in the collection. We've only found 2000 Phillies as of late. So 2000 Denver is going to go into the collection. Very nice. And then let's see what else we got, guys. Eight more coins to take a peek. So we got John Tyler, which we do not have yet. What is that? Rutherford B. Hayes. Do not have that one yet. There's another 79P we'll add to the pile. And let's take a look at this. Oh, what is that? Is that Lyndon B. Johnson? Are you kidding me? Another not intended for circulation coin right there. That is sick. And uh, let's see if we can decipher a year off of this edge. It's a 2015, so one of the later ones to come out. I'm sure Eisenhower's probably 2015 as well, now that I think about it. It really helps to have a knowledge of your presidents, at least a rough estimate of where these guys stand in relation to one another to figure out kind of what the years are gonna be on these coins. So you gotta do some quick calculations in your head while you're looking through dollar coins. And there we go, we ended off with three 2000 Philadelphias in a row. We'll check those for, for the Cheerios dollar and then I'll see what else we can put into the collections guys and I'll get back to you in just a sec. Wow, I totally missed this. I thought that this was an older president than it really is, but William Howard Taft, another 2013 not intended for circulation coin right there so that makes three in a single roll that is unbelievable and i believe this was the biggest president of all time as well so maybe we'll try to throw some president facts in here as we go through these rolls if i can think of any uh but that's a good one for you all right i got that sacagawea filled in as well as those regular presidential dollars let's take a look at the not intended for circulation presidential dollars now that we were able to pull so uh, we did get a william h taft as i just showed you guys and that's gonna be going in right here. I believe it's a Philly. We've mainly been getting Phillies today. These have all been really nice and shiny though for those not intended for circulation coins, which is pretty nice if you think about it. Now let's take a look. We got the uh, Lyndon B. Johnson. I'm just gonna grab the date off of that one real quick. It's a 2015 Denver. So let's flip a couple pages forward. 
over to the Lyndon B. Johnson. Yep, and it looks like Eisenhower is going to be on that same page. So looks like I'm a little bit on the right track. I guess the public school system isn't completely failing us, right, if I still have those uh, facts in mind. And uh, so there we go. We got Lyndon B. Johnson, Dwight Eisenhower just about eight years prior right there. That is the one thing that I don't really like about these coins. It really strains your eyes when you're trying to look at those super close up uh, and get the dates off of them. But uh, that is awesome, guys. Three more not intended for circulation presidential dollar coins in a single roll. That's got to be a record. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that anytime soon. Oh, and we had a nice little added bonus of a quarter, which I wasn't expecting uh, that we were able to pull out of that roll. So all in all, a very solid roll. I'm not sure if we'll be able to beat that in today's video, but let's go ahead and try anyways, guys. On to roll number three. All right, here we go. Roll number three, cracking into it now. What a great box so far, guys. Just a lot of really cool stuff. A really good one, actually, I'd say, for just showing like what kind of stuff is out there. So there we go. A lot of nice, shiny presidential dollars. I see a 2013 right off the bat, so that is great. And uh, another really shiny coin right there. Is this going to be another Taft, possibly? No, it is not. It's Woodrow Wilson. So cool. And we got another not intended for circulation coin right there, which is going to be going into the collection for sure. Here's a Sacagawea 2000 Denver, which we actually just got, so we don't need that one anymore. And uh, yeah, I don't see anything right off the bat, so we'll just take a look uh, at the rest of the coins here and see what else there is to get. All right, so here we have a Warren G. Harding again, another not intended for circulation coin. I think we've already got a, a Harding, but uh, that is another one right there. We'll see if we need that mint mark. Got another 79P there, of course. And some more 2000 P's. I just got, I'm already in the habit of separating these ones out um, and uh, take a look at them in a little bit. There's a Garfield. We got more 79 action going right there. Let's see what we got here. What is that? Richard Nixon? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, guys. We're getting NIFCs left and right. I don't think I've ever seen Richard Nixon on a coin before. So that is very interesting. He's got to be a 2016, right? Yes, he is. 2016 Denver on the Richard Nixon. So that is the newest coin that we have found so far. Not in the best shape. And uh, man, yeah, I don't know. He doesn't look too good in that picture either, if if I'm being honest. But let's uh, take a look at the rest of these coins, guys. I said that we were going to have a hard time beating that record. We just matched it. Three not intended for circulation coins in a roll. We got a couple more 79s right there. Looks like we may have even more though. How about that? Nope, that's just a Zachary Taylor in really nice condition. There's a George Washington also in pretty nice. And there we go, guys. We just beat the record. Another Dwight Eisenhower right there. So that makes four not intended for circulation coins in a single roll. How wild. All right, let's see if we can uh, keep it going here. We got another nice shiny one right here. That's a John Tyler and a 2000 Denver right there. What is that? John Tyler again, 2000 P. And we're going to finish it off with a James Monroe and a 2000 Denver Sacagawea. So I'll organize these now and I'll get back to you guys with the results, see what we got here. You know what? I actually didn't notice this, but we have a 1979 San Francisco here. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's a proof. And as a matter of fact, I think this one's probably not a proof, but that is a 1979 San Francisco. I'll show you up under the microscope here so you can just get a closer look at that mint mark. It's definitely a San Francisco right there. And uh, not, not looking for the wide rim on that one. It's just, uh, it is what it is. But that is going into the collection. That's another coin that we needed, so that's awesome. So miraculously, that Harding and Eisenhower are both duplicates. We already got those not intended for circulation coins into the collection. Uh, of course, our Richard Nixon is the first one uh, that we are seeing ever, I think. So uh, let's take a look. That is going to be a 2016 Denver, so we'll slide that into its spot right there. Our first 2016 right there, and that's pretty much what this collection goes up to. There is one after that, which I always forget to mention, and that is George H.W. Bush. That one came out in 2020, so I actually don't have a spot for that uh, in this collection, so we'll have to figure out what to do with that if we ever find it. Oh, wait, no, we do have a spot for that. Oh, that's eerie. I just realized that. They have spots for these people, even though... Some of them haven't even died yet. That is kind of scary. So yeah, I guess we do have a spot for George H.W. Bush. There is a coin that it exists for him. There is not one for Bill Clinton or George W. Bush. So, uh, or even Jimmy Carter for that matter. So that is that is a little wild right there. But hey, you know what, guys? Uh, we have extra spots for when they inevitably 
get coins for themselves. And uh, in case you didn't know, you do have to be dead to actually be put on a coin, and you have to be dead, I think, for two years. Um, so that is a little weird. They have spots for those. It's a little weird to think about. But guys, that is going to do it for roll number three. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just get on to roll number four on that note. All right, here we go, breaking into roll number four, and this marks the halfway point on our first coin quest dollars hunt. It's uh, it's been pretty slow going so far because I do have to put a bunch of stuff into the collection. So not complaining, but uh, definitely do have to stop a little bit more than usual. All right, guys, I'm already seeing a whole bunch of uh, not intended for circulation coins here. There's a 2014 P right there. So let's see if that's one that we already have or not. Okay, so that is Herbert Hoover. I don't think we have that yet. And man, look at the eyes on that one. All right, so that is pretty cool, guys. We do have another not intended for circulation coin right here and that one is going to also be Woodrow Wilson so we'll see if that's the one that we have or the one that we don't have yet and uh, the rest of these it's a little tough to tell I'm seeing 2009s and stuff so I don't think that any more of those are going to be not intended for circulation at least not the ones that I can see but we do have two right there and actually what the heck I totally missed this guys is this a not intended for circulation coin I believe it is all 2002 through 2008 as you can see right here are not intended for circulation on the Sacagaweas. So let's take a closer look at that. 2004 Denver right there. And uh, what is the reverse gonna be? Okay, it's just a regular reverse. So just your typical standard Sacagawea dollar. I do like how the date is actually on the coin, so it's not hard to look at. 2004 Denver right there. That is certainly a not intended for circulation coin going into our Sacagawea collection. So that is awesome. Let's see what else this roll has in store for us. All right, so we got Andrew Jackson. I think that's the first time that we have seen him so far. A bunch of these names are looking pretty uh, familiar, though. James Monroe, Quincy, uh, John Quincy Adams, Rutherford B. Hayes, you know, stuff like that. I, I've seen quite a few of those. Still stacking those 79 P's. We'll take a look at those. Actually, we'll probably look at the halfway point. Oh, look at that, guys. We just got an IFC number three on this roll. That is a Dwight D. Eisenhower, so we'll check that one to see if it's the one that we still need or not. There's another Thomas Jefferson. We got Zachary Taylor, John Tyler, some of the old guys. And look at that, another Dwight Eisenhower. We just found one, and we got another one there, so... I will take it, guys. We'll see if that's the one that we need or not. Oh, whoa, 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 guys. Look at this. What a box. Are you kidding me? That is exactly what I was telling you guys. We are looking for these. They are not easy to find under 1 million per coin. That is amazing. Okay, let's see what this is going to be. Is this going to be the 2012? No, it's not. It's, it's newer, or sorry, not 2012. The first one that they made is 2018, so I think this is just the base design here, but that is the first one that I have ever actually seen and held in person. American Innovators, how cool. Let's flip it over to the other side and see what it has for us. All right, there we go. So I think, yeah, this is just the base American Innovators coin, $1, and it's 2018 Philadelphia. So we are already going to be breaking into that collection, only four rolls into the hunt. Ah, oh, that is awesome. So, so cool, guys. I don't know how I missed that one from the edges. I should have been able to see that 2018. It's a really interesting, I guess you'd call this the obverse. It's like very void of, you know, design. There's like a lot of open space on the coin, which is sort of weird for uh, American coins. We don't usually have stuff like that. Um, but I do love that American Innovators design right there on the very uh, front of the coin. You can actually see on my cheat sheet, that is the one that we use. Uh, to display that American Innovators right there. So it's a very cool coin to see come out, obviously. We have a giant collection for them, but I just don't anticipate finding a lot of these, so very excited to see that one come out. So we keep breaking our own records. We got four not intended for circulation presidential coins. We got a 2004 Sacagawea not intended for circulation. And then we pulled this beautiful American Innovations 2018. That is so, so sick. All right, let's put these coins into the collection and see how we're looking. All right, so three out of the four not intended for circulation presidential dollars are not actually going into the collection, uh, but this one is Herbert Hoover, a uh, Philadelphia 2014. So we'll put that one into its place right there. Nice looking coin. And then we are going to grab that innovation dollars and put it into that collection. All right, here we go. New collection, first coin in. I think that now we have a coin into every collection. Certainly wasn't expecting this out of the first episode, but there you go. American Innovation 2018P. First coin into the last collection that we have. 
I'm so happy I got this collection. I literally just bought it like a few days ago and I didn't even know it, it was out yet, but it is and it's super cool and I'm happy that we have that one in there. All right guys, I got a pretty big stack of Susan B. Anthony's. We need to check for that wide rim to see if we can fill that spot into the collection as well. So let's go ahead and grab our microscope and take a look. All right, we're looking for wide rim near date as they call it. That's pretty much the easiest way to tell if the date is super close to the edge. That is going to be a wide rim and uh, I have not seen one yet. Hopefully we are able to get one though. That's a nice looking Susan B. Anthony, but it's not what we're looking for. <laughs> for a second there, I thought that was actually a San Francisco mint mark and I totally got it wrong. So yeah, still no wide rim. It's uh, not easy to find and you can probably see why. All right, last couple here. That one's not it. And that one is not it either. So. No wide rims this time, guys. We are halfway through the hunt, though. We got four more rolls to go. It's going pretty slow because there's just so much happening at once. All this new information. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are so far, leave a like down below, and let's get into the second half of this hunt. All right, here we go. Breaking into roll number five of eight. Let's take a look at what we got in here. Whoa, yeah, some really, really shiny coins there. I don't know. We may have another innovation dollar in here. That would be amazing. So that's just a president's dollar, president's, oh, what's this though? William Howard Taft again, all right, cool. So I think we're looking for the, uh, I don't know, probably the Denver, it seemed like we mostly had Phillies, but uh, I'm not gonna mess around with that, guys. Let's just go ahead and uh, spread them out here and see what we can get. So we're starting it off right here with a Susan B. Anthony, another 79P, and there is Grover Cleveland. I don't think I've seen that one yet, and I don't know, oh yeah, it does make it as an NIFC. It's a 2012, so there we go, guys. Grover Cleveland. He just made the cutoff as a not intended for circulation coin. And, uh, yeah, so let's check it out. Oh, we got another Lyndon B. Johnson that we can check, so that's awesome. And what is that going to be? Franklin Pierce. I think that's an older one. Certainly doesn't ring a bell for whatever reason, though. It's a 2010, so sort of middle-range uh, president there. Another Grover Cleveland. All right. So two-in-one roll after not finding any. There's a 1979 Denver that we're not interested in there. How about that? Another Thomas Jefferson, James Garfield. Got some 2,000 Ps here. There's a 2,000 Denver there. And, hey, look at that. We got our first non-1979 uh, Susan B. Anthony. So this one right here, I believe is also not intended for circulation, 1999 Philadelphia. So that is very cool right there. The very next year they started making the Sacagaweas. And the crazy thing is that between 1981 and 1999, they did not make any dollar coins whatsoever, at least as far as I know. Uh, and then they started back up in 1999 and haven't stopped since. So pretty cool if you think about it, big gap there, and then a whole bunch of new coins, very fun to look for. 1999p that's going into our susan b anthony collection all right that's going to do it for roll number five let's go ahead and organize these coins and see what's going into the collection all right so apparently when it comes to the susan b anthony's there's also a 1999p proof there's no 99s proof which is i thought was a little weird but uh, we do have a 99p here i don't think it's a proof though so we're just going to put it in the 99p spot right here and uh, yeah, lots of Susan B. Anthony's that have not come out for us yet. All we've got are two 79s, one, what is that? No, three 79s, because we have the 79P, D, and S, so fairly easy to find there. That near date is gonna be the tough one. Those proofs, obviously, are gonna be tough as well in the 80s. And then, uh, yeah, I'm glad that we at least found uh, one not intended for circulation, 1999 right there, so I'll definitely take that. All right, guys, moving on to roll number six of eight. Let's see what it's got in store for us. Probably not going to have any crazy surprises like that quarter we found in one of the first rolls, but uh, still should be some good stuff here, I would think. Oh, is that a 2016? I think it is. Oh, I think we got another 2016, guys. So who is this going to be? Let's find out. It is Harry Truman. I think we do have one of those already, but uh, maybe this is the one that we haven't found. I haven't found that to be the case so far, though. And honestly, guys, I feel like we're being absolutely spoiled here. Oh, no way. This is exactly what I was talking about. We are absolutely being spoiled here, setting expectations extremely high for the rest of these rolls. So what an amazing box to start on. Like I said before, I have hunted a few dollar coins, never found this volume. And that is gonna be just another 2018 base American innovations, but 
Oh my gosh, how cool is that, guys? 2018 American Innovations, and I think, uh, let's see. All right, guys, taking a closer look at the mint mark, it's actually really hard to tell what it is. I don't think I can tell what it is. It's almost like somebody intentionally scratched it off. So I don't know what the mint mark is on this one, unfortunately, so I won't be able to put that into the collection, but I can put it to the side at least, so we'll do that for now and uh, just move on from there. All right, guys, I'm not going to spend too long looking at these edges. Let's go ahead and just dump them out and see what we're going to get. Uh, okay, so there is a FDR. Wow, okay. Again, another uh, not intended for circulation coin right there. So we'll take it, put it to the pile, see if that one's going in. We got another uh, 2000P there that we can check. There's William Henry Harrison. Haven't seen too many of him. And then let's just keep moving through here, guys. See what else is going to pop out for us. And there's another Woodrow Wilson. Another not intended for circulation coin right there. That is just absolutely bananas. All right, let's keep going here. Oh, my gosh, another Taft. And there's an Andrew Jackson. So not... not uh, Nothing there, but uh, let's keep moving and see what else. All right, there we go. We got a 2001 Philadelphia Sacagawea. Let's take a closer look at that. So there we go, guys. 2001 P Sacagawea. We do not have this one yet in the collection. It's not in the best shape, but uh, like I said, it's one we don't have yet. So we're going to put it in the collection, and uh, hopefully we'll find a better one a little bit later. All right, guys, this is pretty cool. With the not intended for circulation presidential dollar coins, we did get a Benjamin Harris, which I didn't even notice. So I think that was five not intended for circulation presidentials in that one role. So just absolutely insane. Uh, we do have a couple more that are going in, though. And I've noticed every single one of these is Philadelphia. So I'm wondering if somebody just, like, dumped their entire collection into this box, which is, you know, it's, it's going to make it very easy for us to uh, fill all of these in, if that's the case. Uh, we'll still be looking for the Denver of course but yeah there we go so fdr right there on the 2014 p and then we did get one more going into the collection it's our first here 2015 p harry truman so how wild is that guys another not intended for circulation coin going into the collection and we're only six rolls into this hunt which is just insane all right here we go breaking into roll number seven let's see if we can snag ourselves another american innovation dollar and uh, if it wouldn't be too much to ask for, you know, maybe we can get a little different design ex other than the base 2018 design. All right, what do we got here? This one is very shiny. 2000, don't tell me. No, okay, it's a presidential dollar, and it is William Howard Taft again. <laughs> Another Taft. Uh, other than that, though, this roll is looking largely unspectacular. I'm not seeing a lot of shiny stuff, so... Let's just uh, real quick take a look and see what there's going to be. I'll try to separate these out into stuff that I know we don't need. I will check all the dates, of course, because we don't want to miss any not intended. Fo okay, what is that? Okay, it's it's not an it's not. Uh, I thought we had a, an American Innovations there, but uh, this one's going to be actually one of the ones that we haven't seen pop up too much here. The one of the Native American dollars. So let's take a closer look at that, guys. That is one we have not seen at all. Code talkers. Very cool. So that's going to be one of those uh, Sacagaweas with no date on the front. It's, of course, going to be on the side like it is with the uh, presidential dollars. And that one's going to be, it looks like, 2016P. So 2016P Code Talkers. That is pretty dang cool, if you ask me. And it's only our second in this series. So very cool, as a matter of fact. We'll uh, go ahead and take a look at the rest of these coins now. See if, uh, yeah, there's a lot of Susan B's in here. So... We'll definitely want to look at those for that uh, wide rim. All 79s so far. And here comes a whole string of them. Oh, nice. We got a 1980 right there. I thought we might have a chance at something like that. So that's pretty cool. 1980. Ooh, is that an S? It is an S. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this a proof? It almost looks like it is. It's got the right shine to it. Yeah, I don't know. That could be a proof, guys. Let me know what you think. But I guess for now, I'll probably put it in the non-proof spot just because it's hard to tell. I mean, it's, you know, it's a really nice looking coin for sure. But 1980S uh, and uh, yeah, let me just double check here. I want to see what I said about the Susan B's. So 1980s proof, but not all s men are proof. So that's what I thought. So we'll have to figure that out a little bit later. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you think I, I should put that into the proof spot or not. But uh, yeah, we got a whole bunch more uh, Susan B's to take a look at here. So let's do that real quick. Oh my gosh, another 1980 right next to it. That is awesome. Taking a closer look at that one, that looks like it's going to be a Philadelphia. So uh, we just got two coins into the collection in a row right there for our Susan B. Anthony's. And then bringing it back to the 1979's, we got another 79 right there. 
79 and 79 and it looks like we're gonna finish it off on a 2000 p so guys i will take a look at these second to last roll let's take a look at what we got and see what's going into the collection all right guys got the coins into the collection i decided i want to take a look at those susan b anthony's under the scopes you guys can get a better look at that uh 1980s but uh so we'll do that at the end here along with the rest of the 1979 fillies here we go getting into the last roll now and my gosh does it look as shiny as any of the ones that i've seen so far that is a very shiny roll what do you guys think there's probably going to be a lot of not intended for circulations in here. As a matter of fact, I see a 2012 P right there. Let's see if this is a president that we still need. Uh, Grover Cleveland, no, we don't need that one. So at least not in the Philadelphia anyway. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and dump them out and see what we got here. All right, let's start over here on the right side. Guys, last roll for this hunt. Eight rolls into a $1,000 box. That's $200 coins that we have searched. Oh, Calvin Coolidge, I don't think we have that one yet. So I think that one will be going in. But uh, yeah, I was saying nice toning on that uh, George Washington there. So we'll uh, take another look at that one. Maybe put that one into the collection. All right, let's see what else we got here, guys. We got a, what is that, Benjamin Harrison? I don't think we've seen that one. Yeah, that's a 2012. So we'll gotta, we gotta check on that one. That may be going in. There's a nice Abraham Lincoln right there, although I think we have most of those. How about a Lyndon B. Johnson, which I think we already have, but uh, we'll uh, just have to double check that one. All right, guys, getting down to the last few coins here. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, what is that? Franklin Roosevelt, another not intended for circulation. I'll take it. All right, there's a Franklin Pierce, 2000P. Harry Truman, that's five already. Coming down to the last four coins, we got a John Quincy Adams, a 2000P. A 1979P, which we'll check in a second, and then a Chester Arthur, which that one is also a not intended for circulation coin. So that is six in one roll. I think that's a record even for this video, which is absolutely crazy there, guys. Six coins right there, which are not supposed to be in circulation, and we just found them. Let's see how many of those are going into the collection. All right, so it looks like out of those six, only two are gonna be going in. Once again, they're all Philadelphia's. Chester Arthur right there, the first coin in this collection. So crazy, guys. I, I don't know how this is how this is possible. Somebody must have unloaded the collection or something. But then we also got the Calvin Coolidge here, which is going in on this page. So that is uh, a nice one to put into the collection as well. And with that being said, guys, that is going to do it for those coins. Now, we do have some Susan B. Anthony's to take a look at. So we'll go ahead and turn on the microscope here. And let's first start by taking a look at that 1980S, so I'll throw that one up under there. It does look a little bit shinier than the rest, I think, so this could possibly be a proof. I don't know exactly what the signs are to look for. I mean, even the, the S doesn't look like as close as uh, some of the other S's that you see like on the 79s. It looks a little bit more well-defined. So this may end up being a proof. I don't know, you guys will have to let me know, but I'm just gonna put it in the regular spot for now. And then uh, let's take a look just real quick at that 1980P. So you can see right there, like the P is just a little blob versus the S, which is really nice and well-defined. So yeah, that is uh, kind of what we got going on with those 1980s. In addition to that, I do have one more stack of 1979 Philadelphias that we want to take a look at for that wide rim. So let's do that now. Oh, guys, we do have one. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So we already got ourselves a wide rim, 1979. You can see how much closer that date is to the edge compared to like the last one that I just checked. You can see that's a nice big gap between the numbers and the edge. This one, it doesn't look to be in the greatest of shape, but it is a wide rim and that's all that matters. That one is going into the collection. All right, here we go, 1979P wide rim, also known as near date going in. And yeah, it does have some corrosion on it, unfortunately, but uh, that's not really anything that we can control. Uh, that's too bad, but that's okay. We'll roll with it. We're also gonna be putting in that 1980S. I'm not sure if it's gonna be a proof or not. If it is, we'll move it over to the next page and the 1980P. So actually looking a lot better, uh, especially off of those last couple rolls there on that first page of the Susan B. Anthony's. And we did get one over there on the last page as well, 1999. So that is it for the Susan B. Anthony's. Let's take a real quick look at the rest of the collections just to see how they're doing after eight rolls. All right, here we go. The next collection in the series, Sacagawea's 2000 to date. Uh, yeah, we're struggling there. I think this is probably gonna be one of the more difficult ones. You can see we got a 2004, which is not intended for circulation. Then we got a couple of the Native American coins, a 2011D 
and then I believe, yeah, 2016p code talkers. So a lot of empty space still left in that though. And then we have the presidential dollars. These were coming out left and right. I don't think we're gonna have any difficulty filling these in. Obviously the proofs are gonna be a different story, but the P's and the D's are gonna be pretty, pretty simple. Like you can see, we already have most of these filled in without even going through very many rolls. Now for the second set of presidential dollars, we're doing way better than I thought we would be here. Just unbelievably well here. Oh, you know what, guys? I didn't even think about this. Grover Cleveland was president twice, so I need to check that again uh, because he's going to have different dates depending on which year he was in office. It, it happened uh, with Benjamin Harris in between. So I just realized that. I was like, why is Grover Cleveland on here twice? Well, that's why. So I'm going to have to go back and check on that one because we may have another one in there as well. But you can see, guys, a lot of the Philadelphia... Uh, coins are in place already here with the exception of Lyndon B. Johnson, which we got two Denvers. How weird is that? And then, uh, oh, I guess uh, Richard Nixon was also a Denver, you can see up there. Um, obviously not going to get any of these in because they don't exist except for that George H.W. And then the final collection, of course, the U.S. Innovation Dollars. Certainly didn't expect to get anything into this collection, but we did get one coin with actually a duplicate coming as well. We got two of these in eight rolls. It was just absolutely amazing. I'm very happy about that and very happy for our prospects at getting more of these in the future. Well, all right, guys, that's going to do it for part one of our Coin Quest Dollar Coin series. Let me know what you guys think about this series down in the comments below. I'm having a ton of fun with it. It, learning a lot of new stuff and I already know you guys are gonna ask if these are available they're not I just made this to help me with this one video but if I see enough interest I might make some sort of product uh, that has this dollar coin information on it kind of like this one right here as you can see this information sheet is quite a bit smaller than the placemats which I use typically when I'm hunting pennies nickels quarters dimes and half dollars uh, which I have actual placemats for this is just like a small information sheet but if you guys would be interested in something like that definitely let me know down in the comments below and uh, we'll see if we can make it happen so yeah two hundred dollars down eight hundred dollars to go in this box i'm having a lot of fun with this hopefully you guys are as well make sure to go down below and leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you're new because i post new videos like this every single week always bring you along with the hunts and having a good time and as always i'm quinn and this is quinn's coin signing out and i will see you in the next one